What is up guys and today we've got five increasingly impressive and complex setups created on an Android phone and we're going to use them to show you guys how you can take your setup to the next level. Most modern phones are coming by default now with beautiful, large 5.5 inch plus displays. And the best way to emphasize this is to provide space. Applying a lighter colored wallpaper can bring attention to the size of the display. And also hiding the dock at the bottom as well as the navigation keys not only gives you more space, but also forces you to be more creative with how you are placing the icons. And getting rid of the dock doesn't mean you're losing functionality. On almost any launcher, you can always swipe up from the home screen and that'll launch the app drawer anyway. And the last thing to take from setup number five is that if you really want a clean, minimal look, then disable the app names. All right, setup number four is a really impactful home screen, and it's done by picking only a few icons. The wallpaper and widget color coordination with this white and purple really brings it all together. There are only a very few number of shades on display, but because they are consistent between all the elements in this, it looks really nice. One more thing really worth taking away from this setup though is the wallpaper. It's very easy to forget that wallpaper applications, while they can be great, aren't the only way to get really nice new wallpapers. This one over here is from a Google Plus artist, so I'm gonna leave a couple of links down below, go check them out. And very quickly before the next setup, this video was actually sponsored by Vikings War of Clans, but we'll save that till the end of the video. Setup number three has one idea at its very core, and that is building the home screen around the wallpaper. Speaking of which, I would recommend picking a wallpaper that has up to three primary colors. Try not to do more than that, and then use these primary colors and echo them in your home screen. For example, the white as seen on the keyboard on that wallpaper has been replicated by the icons and the widget above. And speaking of these icons, you'll notice how tightly packed they are, and that's by changing the grid size. And I'd recommend turning this way up that gives you much more flexibility with how precisely you can place your icons. And that is exactly what has allowed us to fit these icons so that they're in line with the keyboard on the wallpaper. And don't forget to hide that notification bar right at the very top. A lot of the time it'll tell you something like the time, which is already being told to you in the widget just below that. And with most mainstream launches, it'll be a simple toggle you can find in the settings to turn that bar off. All right, we're stepping it up a notch. This home screen, setup number two, has a lot of finely tuned, finely balanced elements here that are really bringing it all together. There is no traditional dock at the bottom and the icons are sorted by color and they are all circular. And this is achieved in two ways. You need to use a circular icon pack like the Pixel 2 icons, but also a feature within Nova Launcher called Adaptive Icons, which will reshape icons that are normally in a different shape into the same theme automatically. For the app drawer, if you're using Nova Launcher, try using a card style background with a dark wallpaper rather than the standard light one. This gives your phone a bit of an instant facelift and combined with a really tight, compact grid size in the app drawer, it makes it quite practical too. You might also have been drawn to the wallpaper we've got in the background here. Well, we actually made it, sort of. So what I would recommend you do if you want this flat style look is find a wallpaper you like, use a wallpaper app or a Google Plus artist, however you want to derive your wallpaper, and we're gonna use an app to triangulate it. So for that, we've got something called Mirror Lab, and you can load up any image in this app, and it gives you a lot of tools to manipulate them. But my favorite is triangulation, which allows you to basically pick a number of triangles that you want the image to become. So you could make it a really complex shape, which bears a lot of resemblance to the original image, or you could completely turn down the number of shapes to make it somewhat of a more abstract picture. All right, guys, setup number one is probably not what you were expecting. This is a retro inspired one because you realize on a sharp Quad HD panel, retro looks really, really good. And I guess the core message with this setup is to not be afraid to break convention a little bit. For example, icons should generally be placed at the bottom because you'd assume that's where your fingers rest. But with a larger screen phone, that may not be the case. And actually placing your icons right at the top and a widget at the bottom instead might work better for you. Also, you can make icons for folders, applying a single icon to a group of applications, which can turn something that looks like this, to some people a little bit disorganized, into something that looks far cleaner and far more in line with the theme you're trying to create. All right, so as I was saying, this video was sponsored by Vikings War of Clans, which is the first Viking-based strategy RPG. And one pretty strange fact about it is there are 10 times more players in the game than Vikings ever existed. It's addictive from the get-go, has some pretty good-looking 3D graphics, and should run smooth on even lower-end devices. 
The company are also giving away in-game bonuses to anyone who signs up here. So that's Vikings War of Clans, link is in the description below. As always guys, it's been a pleasure, thank you so much for watching, and if you are new to this channel, if you could smash that subscribe button down below, that would really mean a lot to me. With that being said, my name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.